I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So I told you in yesterday's vlog, today we'd probably be going to the Bahamas. Plans have changed, baby. It is literally the next day. And I was just, I woke up this morning completely overwhelmed. I have so much stuff to do. We leave for the Bahamas in four days, less than four days. And I have nothing done. I need to try on outfits. I need to pack. My mom's coming, obviously, to watch my cats while I'm gone. So I have to wash all of her bedding. We have to deep clean the house really good. Um, it's not like super dirty, but you know, just like normal things like wiping down the mirrors and like mopping, sweeping, vacuuming, just everyday things that you have to do. So we need to like deep clean everything also. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done i also still need to run around and pick up a few christmas things to finish things off like the top of this table you guys know i need another table runner um i need some stuff for the back of the chairs so i woke up this morning extremely overwhelmed on top of just like everyday life i have to edit three videos and upload them um before we leave for the bahamas so in less than four days i have to edit three videos upload them i was supposed to film two videos and edit those two videos so that way when we get back from the bahamas there's enough videos and i'm not missing a day well, I decided this morning, I made the executive decision. What we're gonna do to make me less stressed is we're going to take today, I, I'm gonna rent a car because Aaron obviously has work and um, I don't have, we don't have a second car. Unfortunately, we need one, but we can't afford one right now. So we decided to rent a car because I have a free day worth of points with enterprise so i've accumulated enough points to get a free rental for a day so i was like hell yeah i'm gonna rent a car i'm going to drive around do everything i need to do i'm gonna go to the laundromat wash um the bedding for my mom for when she comes so it's nice and clean i'm just gonna finish up like loose ends around the house and do things that need to be done so i'm gonna take today and do all that then thursday and friday the two days we have left before we leave I can focus on editing those videos um and i decided i'm not gonna film this week i'm just gonna have to miss an upload like it's just i ha i barely ever miss uploads i'm just gonna have to sacrifice and i'm gonna miss an upload and when we get back from the bahamas i will film and i will continue working so i was hoping to have the rest of the week off when we get back from the bahamas but that's just not how it's gonna be and that's okay i will make up for it later so i decided to rent the car um and we're gonna have fun today you guys we're gonna go christmas shopping i'm gonna go full out i wasn't gonna buy the rest of the decorations i need until later in the month now we're doing it now i'm not messing around you know what i mean i already have come this far we didn't come this far just to come this far so <laughs> i'm gonna go hard buy the rest of the christmas decorations i need um and then do laundry we're just gonna have a good day you guys and also get this i was talking to my husband and i was like man i wish you could come with me like i wish you could hang out with me today and go christmas shopping today and he was like well i do have one day like he has one more vacation day and i was like and he was like so he is in the process right now of calling off and using his one last vacation day so now he gets to hang out with me all day and we get to do everything um so we're gonna go to home goods baby we're gonna go to home goods we're gonna go to a lot of stores we're gonna get carts full of stuff it's gonna be a good and true vlogmas day today last night i also did put this up on the shelf i was staring at it and it was blank and i was writing down other things i needed and then i realized i have that sign that my grandma got me let me see if i can point to it that north pole sign that my grandma got me and i painted the teal color black so i threw that up there and now the shelves look almost complete i'll probably get a few little ornaments and put like around on the shelves just scattered uh, from dollar tree but yeah that's another place i'd like to go i would love to go to dollar tree because they have amazing super cheap christmas decorations like they have they got the best stuff there like it's so inexpensive so i'm gonna get dressed we're gonna get ready to go we're gonna go to the laundromat do the laundry and then we will start our day of shopping in festives and i'm very very excited today went from being like very stressed out and overwhelmed to take a deep breath we got a lot to do but we're gonna get it done and guess what I woke up this morning with a text message from our vet saying that we can start Luna's diabetes medication tomorrow morning, which is amazing. The first three to five days 
um, when you start this medication, the th first three to five days you need to monitor them closely, which is perfect timing because we're gonna have three full days to monitor her before we go to the Bahamas. And then my mom will be here for three full days monitoring her closely. So for the first six days, she will have someone here full time, not leaving the house. And then we get back on that seventh day. So there's like, there's gonna be an hour, like a few hour gap from when my mom leaves and we arrive home. And I'm gonna have the animal care people come here um, and give her her medication and watch her. So there's only like eight hours where she's gonna be alone. Um, and it's not even within the window that's critical. So that's great. I'm really excited for her to start her medication. She should start feeling better literally the same day she starts the medication. So tomorrow, 10.30, we're starting her on her medication. Hopefully everything goes well. She doesn't have any side effects and she doesn't become ketonic. We have to monitor her with a ketone meter. So that's another reason why today I decided to do all this because tomorrow she starts her medication and I will not be leaving the house until we leave the Bahamas. Like I will be here monitoring her, hovering over her, watching her very closely, making sure that literally nothing is wrong. Um, so if I need to go do stuff, run errands or anything, today is literally the only day that I can go do that because yeah, I could leave the house when I start her medication, but I'm such like a hovering mother. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable leaving her. Um, so yeah, tomorrow morning, 10.30, we start her medication. So the next three days, I'm gonna be watching her very closely, monitoring her and getting her medication and regulating her levels and everything. So let me get dressed and we will start our journey. Here she is this morning. She really loves her water. Um, it's a symptom of diabetes. So she likes to sleep next to the water. Look at her, she's got her head propped up against it. It's really sad honestly but guess what in less than 24 hours she gonna be feeling so much better i forgot to tell you guys last night i got the giant nutcrackers out of their box and put them together so now we have those two <laughs> fully put together i just didn't want to leave the boxes um out and about because they're really big boxes and they have tape all over them and mimi likes to eat tape so i didn't want to leave them out i figured let's recycle the boxes and put them together so that way it takes up less room and there's less risk while we're gone of him choking on tape Okay, guys, we just picked up our rental car. And so we come here all the time because if you guys do not know, our car constantly breaks down. So when it breaks down, um, we have to come here and rent a car. So we're in here constantly because our car has been breaking down a lot recently. So they know us. When we walk in there, they know us. They're like, oh, they're in here all the time. You know what I mean? So we went in there today and they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, we're just gonna go out of town and we're gonna go shopping and just have a day of like, shopping for christmas and stuff and i was like we just we had free points to for free rental so like we're we just wanted to use our free points basically and he was like do you guys want to have some fun and i was like yeah so then he offered us an upgrade on our vehicle and he's like would you pay it was supposed to be 300 dollars a day for this vehicle but he was gonna have me pay like 80 something and i thought about it and then i was like you know what no i'm not gonna pay almost a hundred dollars um for a vehicle that was supposed to be free. Like it's supposed to be a free day of us having fun. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend the extra money. So I was like, I was like, no, but I appreciate it. Thank you though. He gave us the vehicle anyway. Even after I was like, no, I don't want to pay. He was like, no problem. Didn't make me pay at any upgrades and still gave us the vehicle. So this is what we're rocking today. It is a Ford Expedition. And look at the seats. The seats are like a really pretty maroonish color, like a maroonish burgundy. This thing is a boat. It is huge and it is so nice, you guys. I'm so excited. It has like a really nice screen here. Let me show you. It's got heated seats. It's got heated seats. It's got a screen. It's like, damn, today is such a good day. So we are now going to Bath and Body Works because I actually have a lot of coupons. I woke up and I looked at my coupons um and i have a bunch of coupons so i have ten dollars off a purchase of thirty dollars i have 25 percent off my total order 
and I have two free body care items up to $17. So I have a bunch of freebies and a bunch of discounts and they should have all their Christmas stuff out now. So I need some hand soaps and maybe some body lotion and spray. So we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works and see what we can find. I just discovered it has a sunroof, you guys. It has a sunroof. Alright, we just got done at Bath and Body Works. I got mostly hand soaps um, because I don't have any Christmas hand soaps and I only have two like fall scented hand soaps left. So we're gonna move on to Christmas scented stuff. And so I got like a bunch. What's three times five? Five times 15. I got 15 hand soaps. And then I got my free body care item. So now we are going to pick up our laundry and head home for a minute, go pee, get a snack, and then we are going to Home Goods, baby. All right, you guys, we have officially made it to Home Goods. I have to pee so bad. And the Home Goods is right next to a TJ Maxx, which is right next to a Ross. So we're gonna hit all three while we're here. Um, and then we decided to go to Waffle House afterwards and eat at waffle house because it's one of our favorites um so let's go into home goods and see what christmas decor we can find i also did go to tj maxx this morning and i could not find another runner so um i tried to look for another green mousse because mine broke as you guys know and its ear is still about to fall off it's not fixed i tried fixing it but it didn't really work so i'm gonna look for another mousse they didn't have that one at our tj maxx and i looked for a second runner so that way it could go the length of the bar and i could not find one they were all sold out and they had another one of those runners and they had another one of those elk or moose or whatever and that was like two days ago and they're already sold out so you know christmas people and halloween people we go hard so everything is like starting to sell out and i'm seeing all the people um starting to appear and shop for christmas so let's go inside go to the bathroom and see if we can find some good stuff at home goods i love home goods it's awesome I freaking love home goods. They have so much Christmas stuff. Honestly, any holiday you walk in there and they have a plethora of whatever holiday you're looking for. I noticed a lot of Disney and Christmas themed things. I noticed that during Halloween too, like Disney is just taking over everything, but they had a bunch of table runners and like placemats and table covers like they have an excess of stuff and it is okay pricing i'd say it's pretty average pricing it is from stores i don't know if they've like closed or something but it's like considered discounted pricing i don't know how much of an actual discount it is but it is a little bit cheaper than you would originally buy it from the stores all this stuff right here is table stuff um and then there was this huge thing right there that was for sale you guys it was really expensive. They had a lot of outdoor Christmas decorations. And honestly, I shopped at Home Goods for Halloween and I found a lot of really amazing finds for Halloween. But for Christmas, it was, they had like a lot of stuff, okay? But it was hard for me to find something I wanted because I just got like very overstimulated. It was more like clutter. It It's not so organized. It's kind of like they just throw everything everywhere and then you have to sort through it like see all these little knickknacks it was like very overwhelming they do have it organized by like color somewhat but i mean like you have to like look at the shelf for a hot minute to look through all of the different knickknacks and like i i don't know if i have adhd but like i could not focus i was like looking at everything and it was very very overwhelming so i really didn't get very much stuff from home goods for some reason the christmas decorations were harder for me to look through than halloween halloween i had no problem finding stuff that i loved but see all of this stuff you guys how overwhelming and how much stuff there is everywhere you look it was amazing but also very overwhelming then they had a bunch of Santas and signs. Look at all this stuff, you guys. It's literally crazy. All right, you guys, we just got done at Home Goods. I got a few things. We got two bags and two of these presents. Now we're gonna go into TJ Maxx and see if we can find anything in there that we couldn't find this morning. In TJ Maxx, we trust. All right, just got done at TJ Maxx and Ross and they are both kind of a bust. I got one thing at TJ Maxx. I got a blanket and then, no, I didn't get a blanket. I got a rug. Yeah, I got a rug to replace the one I bought. I'm gonna move that one probably to our bedroom um, because the one I bought at TJ Maxx a few days ago is like cream in red and everything else in my place is like bright white 
so the cream really stands out next to the bright white floor when i'm in the store and i only have one item that looks white it just looks white in the store but when you bring it home when you compare it to like actually white stuff then you realize it's cream and that doesn't look as good so i found a rug that's bright white red and green so it's even better than just the white and red one i got before so i got that at tj maxx then at ross i found sheets i've been looking for like christmas sheets everywhere and i just can't find one that i like or they don't have them in, in uh, king size most of these stores have like full or queen but they don't really have a lot of king especially like seasonal um bed sheets but we found some at ross um they are it's red green black and white plaid and then it also comes with pillowcases so it was a really good deal that was only like 19.99 for the whole set of the fitted sheet the loose sheet two pillowcases and two decorative pillowcases so that's good i will definitely use all that stuff um now we're gonna go to at home and then we're gonna go eat at waffle house so we're gonna go to at home real quick and i love at home so much i love all the color coordinated stuff so i feel like that's a place i'm probably going to score at so let's go ahead and head on over to at home so let's go ahead and head on over <laughs> say goodbye bye I didn't film much in at home, but they have amazing stuff too. I will say at home is pricey, you guys. It is pretty expensive. A hack is to sign up for their welcome email and you'll get 10% off. It does take a few days for you to get that email. So if you know you're going, sign up like a week beforehand so that we have that 10% off because I wish I would have done that. They had a lot of outdoor decorations and they had the most Christmas trees out of any place I have been to yet this year. They had so many different types of Christmas trees. Literally anything you wanted, they had. They had black trees, they had pink ones, white ones, flocked ones, green ones. Like they just had the most insane selection of Christmas tree decor. They had a bunch of really cool outdoor decor, but like I said, it is a little bit pricier. I would say Home Goods, At Home, and Hobby Lobby are the three stores that have the most Christmas decorations. At Home is much more organized than Home Goods. Home Goods, they kind of just throw everything on the shelf and you have to rifle through it, where At Home is very, very organized, so it's easier to find. Here's the cart of the stuff I wound up getting. Then we made our way to Waffle House, and if you know, you know Waffle House literally is the best ever, the grimier, the more tasty and it is so freaking cheap for the amount of food you get I had to include some footage of the sunset it was a beautiful drive home and the whole drive home this got more and more neon and more vibrant this is just the beginning the end of the sunset was way prettier than this it was a beautiful drive home all right you guys we are back home now it is late it is dark outside it's 7 30 so i'm gonna run through everything i got real quick and then we're gonna end today's vlog i got these two presents from home goods one is green with white and this one is obviously white and red there you can see the green a little bit more here is the new blanket i got it's hard to tell on camera but there is green in there green red white and black and it's super soft and it has little tassels at the bottom i found these really cute hand towels they're sparkly on both sides so i thought this would go good in the bathroom here are the beautiful new table runners that i got look how beautiful those snowflakes are and i did find two of them so they're all white and they have the little snowflakes look how gorgeous it's gonna look so good up there on the bar like oh look at that gonna it's gonna be so good we got two of these long like garland bulbs and i got those to wrap around these posts i just thought this was kind of plain so i'm gonna wrap the bulbs around there and i also got some tinsel to wrap around there too then we got this garland and i got this for in front of the tv i'll show you guys in a second this is pre-lit garland and it has pine cones and it's very very lightly flocked so there's just a little bit of flocking on there but not too much and it has some berries so that pre-lit garland is gonna go right here draped right there in front of the tv and fireplace then i got these placemats i was looking all day for these and i could not find them we got three of these and then we got one long one so the one long one is going to go right there on top and then these side ones we're going to have one there one on the other lamp post, and then one on this center right here. We also went to Dollar Tree and I just got like a bunch of like Dollar Tree things like bulbs and bows and just a lot of Dollar Tree items. Here are the sheets we got. Like I said, they are green, red, white, and black. And then the pillows say believe. It does come with 
um, four different pillowcases. So that's the sheets we got. This is the last item I got. It's the exact same rug as this one, but like I told you guys, this is the one I previously bought and you see how it's like cream colored compared to the flooring. This one is one I found and it's actually bright white and it matches the flooring and matches the cabinets and everything. This one just looks very cream colored. So I'm gonna replace this one with this new one and it has the added green in there so it matches the color theme a little bit better. This one I'm probably gonna move to our bedroom. This is the centerpiece we wound up getting at, at home. It has the three little places to put candles. So that is gonna go on top of the bar right there in the middle. Thanks for coming along the journey of shopping with us today. We also just returned the rental car. So we dropped off the rental car, picked up our car. So thanks for coming along the journey today. Today is the end of day three of Vlogmas. And in tomorrow's vlog, we are going to the Bahamas. So that's really exciting. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog for the Bahamas. But before we go, let's do the advent calendar countdown, baby. Today, we have a little toy soldier. We'll put him right next to the fireplace. So there we go. Day three of Vlogmas, done. Thanks for joining me for today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow for the Bahamas. Bye. Bye.